we're going to be editing video without a video editor. And I'm going to show you how. So there's this really cool program that I actually did a video on. Um, and if you haven't seen the video, I recommend you see it. But uh, this little program, it's called FFmpeg. And FFmpeg, for those of you who don't know, is basically the Swiss Army knife of Linux video and audio, or just video and audio in general. Uh, it can do everything, and it does it well. It can convert formats, trim, edit, filter, video, and audio, do all these amazing things. But I'm going to be showing you how to actually uh, edit and convert videos and uh, video and audio. So I have this file right here, uh, video.webm. And uh, I'm actually, actually show you guys what the video is. Um, video give you a little preview. So that's the um, that's the video. So what I actually want to do is I want to take this video. It's a .webm file, and I want to convert it to an MP4 uh, because Apple devices. I just say I want to send it to someone with an Apple device. Apple doesn't actually support, at least to my knowledge, WebM. So I actually want to convert to an MP4 to send to someone who has like an iPhone or whatever. So to do that, I want to run ffmpeg. I give it the dash i option. This is our input file. So our input file is video. And then we just name our output file. In this case, I'm going to call it video.mp4. And what this will do, this, is, this will go ahead and just convert our WebM file to an mp4 file. And it'll take a few seconds, but once it finishes, you should see that now we have a video.mp4 file right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and run that just to show you that, yes, it actually does work. So now we have our mp4 file. So that's the basics of converting different files. And of course, I can convert this to other formats as well, like MKV or, I don't know, just really any format you can think of, FFmpeg can convert it. So it's a really nice thing to have. Um, another thing that FFmpeg can do is trim videos. This is a big one because this is, this is actually how I edit my videos. So let's just say I only want the first 10 seconds of video.webm. I can say FFmpeg, give it the input file, video.webm, and to, uh, just, or let's just say I want to start the, the video 10 seconds into it. I can say dash ss, and this is basically the starting point of the video. So if I want to say ten, start 10 seconds in, I know, let's say I'm gonna call it trim.m. Oh. And this is just gonna trim the video so uh, trim the video so it starts 10 seconds in. And I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And this should actually take a moment. Um, but the great thing about FFmpeg is what it's doing right now is it's actually re-encoding the entire video. Uh, what we can do is we can actually just do a quick trim. And to do that, what you do is you specify dash codec copy. And what this does is this doesn't re-encode the entire video. What it does is it just slices off the first 10 seconds of the video. Um, it's a little bit rough around the edges, but it does work if you just want to do a very quick edit. So if I do that, overwrite it, yes. And as you can see, it trims it just like that. So it's a lot faster than re-encoding the entire video. But if I go ahead and run trim.webm, as you can see, it trims it so it starts um, 10 seconds into our original video. And of course, you can also, here, let me, go, let me get rid of these two files, trim and video.mp4. So now, uh, let's just say I want only just uh, t the first 10 seconds of the video. What I can do is I can specify, um, or give it the input file. And I can specify dash two. And what this will do is this will actually um, tell us where to stop the video. So I want to stop the video 10 seconds in. So called stop dot, dot web m. And this will just give us just 10 seconds of the video, or the first 10 seconds. So it's going to go ahead and do that. This should be somewhat quick because it's only um, editing 10 seconds worth of video and audio. There we go. So now if we run, uh, what was it? I think it was 
Uh, stop that weapon. So now it's only just 10 seconds of the video. And of course you can combine SS and dash TO. So if I want, let's just say, let's get rid of that. If I want to say, start the video 30 seconds in and end it 40 seconds in. Um, I can go ahead and do that, and it'll go ahead and just give me that middle 10 seconds between 30 and 40 of the video. And of course, I'm not going to do that, but um, that's an option that you can have. So I'm going to get rid of all of these extra files. There we go. So now, got rid of that. And of course, you can do this with just audio files as well. So like AUG files, MP3 files, you can do the same exact thing with those files as well. And one great thing that FFM can do is filters. And my goodness, it has a lot of filters. In fact, if I go over here, you can see that we have a page of filters, and this is all the filters that FFmpeg has. So many audio and video filters, it is insane. So if you actually wanna see a list of them, you can find it on the website right here. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you a few. So. Let's just say I'm going to blur my entire video. What I can do is I can run ffmpeg and then give it video.webm. And what I do is I do dash vf, which stands for video filter. And I say average blur equals 10. So this is going to go ahead and blur our video by a factor of 10. And I'm just going to say, um, call it blur.webm. And this is going to do is this is going to go ahead and blur our, our entire video. Um, it's going to take a while because it has to apply that filter to the entire each individual frame. So I'm going to go ahead and cut back once it's done doing that. Okay, so it just finished uh, um, doing that. I'm going to go ahead and show you the final result. So now we have our video blur.webm, and as you can see, our entire video is uh, blurred. So that's actually a nice thing to have. Um, another thing you can do with FFmpeg is um, also crop videos. And this is also a uh, filter that you can use. So I'm gonna get rid of blur.webm. And I wanna um, crop a certain section of the video. So I'm gonna run FFmpeg video.webm. And I wanna say crop equals, and let's just say 500, 500. 100, 200. And what this is going to do is this is going to go ahead and crop um, uh, crop x, or sorry, width, height, then x, then y. So it's going to do 500 by 500 video, and it's going to shift, uh, it's going to crop the video 100 pixels to the right and 200 pixels down. So that's how that filter basically works. And so I'm just going to say crop that web m, and it's going to go ahead and crop the video to that proportion. And it, should, it shouldn't actually take that long because it's only a 500 by 500 video. So it should um, give us the video in just a moment. You can actually see the progress right down here. And it should spit it out in a few seconds. There we go. Okay, so now if I want to run crop.webm, can see that it crops our video um, at this specific uh, specific size and specific area. So that's how you actually crop videos. Um, and I actually want to show you an audio, audio filter. So if you want to do an audio filter, you do dash AF. And for this audio filter, let me just turn the volume down. How about that? So I say volume equals 0.1. And what this does is this will just go through the video and or the audio of the video itself and just reduce the audio by a factor of 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this to do its thing and I'll cut back. Okay, so the video is done rendering. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open up this video. And as you can see, it's um, once I start playing it, it's gonna be a lot more quiet.
because uh, the uh, filter that we put over it. So it's not, now it's a lot more quiet, and <laughs> there's a lot of filters they can use. Um, I should I I can't show you all of them, although I do want to show you one more. It's a really nice filter. Um, so I get rid of volume.webm and crop.webm. So I actually have this um, captions file, and this base is basically time codes and captions for a specific video. In fact, I'll go ahead and copy that video to my home folder. Uh, videos, uh, videos. And I'll go ahead and copy it here. And so I actually have this video right here, university.mkv, and it's actually one of my previous videos. And what it is, is it's basically just me talking over this one image. And what I actually want to do is I actually want to um, superimpose some captions onto this video um, with my caption file. And there is actually a way to do that with FFmpeg. Um, so the way I actually do this is you have FFmpeg and tell it the input file to be my captions file, which is .svv. And what FFmpeg can do is it can actually convert caption files as well. Um, and I'm going to call it um, oh, I'm going to call it caption captions dot ass and what the dot ass um, file extension is is it's actually a, an extension that lets you superimpose captions onto videos so um, so what you can actually do is ffmpeg I give it the input file university.mkv and I have to specify video filter and I can say s is equal to captions dot s and the output file will be um, final dot mkv and what this will do is this will actually superimpose our caption our s file our caption file onto our video and of course this is going to take a while so I'm going to have to cut back, cut back once it actually finishes. So I'll do that. OK, so it finally finished. It didn't actually take, take that long. But if I actually go ahead and go to the final.mkv file, we'll see that now we actually have captions down here. So we actually now have captions on our videos. So that's a really nice filter um, that you can use for FFmpeg. And like I said, there's a lot more filters you can use. But this, um, these are just a handful. They're, our filters for everything uh, in FFmpeg. So I actually want to show you one last thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all these files I don't need. Uh, the captions file, final, um, university. So now I just have my video.webm file, uh, my original file. So what I actually want to do is actually want to um, take, I want to cut up this video into three different spots and splice them all together, and which sounds kind of complicated, but you can do that very easily with FFmpeg. So what I want to do is I want to take um, the first 10 seconds, the last 10 seconds, and some middle part, 10 seconds of the middle part, and I want to cut all three of those out and put them together, put those together in one 30 second video. So what I'm going to do, um, the, um, it's gonna be. Um, it's actually pretty straightforward. It's not that complicated. So you give it the. I'm gonna give it the dash ss option or the dash two option. Sorry. And I'm gonna say get the first ten seconds of the video. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna call this first dot webm. And this will go ahead and like I said, get the first ten seconds of our video. I'll give it a moment. Okay, so now I want to get the last 10 seconds of our video. So this is going to be last.webm. And what I want to do is I want to specify, um, here. I want to specify dash ss. And let's start at a few seconds in. And let's go to one minute. Okay, it's going to go ahead and do that and get the last 10 seconds of our video. 
And I don't, I don't think it's quite 10 seconds because the video is under a minute, but close enough. And I'm gonna get the middle 10 seconds of our video. So let's start at, let's say, 30 seconds, and let's go to 40 seconds. And let's call this mid.webm. And this is gonna go ahead and, like I said, get the middle. So we're gonna have these three different video files, and we're gonna actually put splice them all together with FFmpeg. And it's gonna take a moment to actually get our media, our middle file. Okay, so now we have our first, our three files right here. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of video that WebM, might as well. So now we have our three WebM files. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually open a text file and I'm gonna put these files in here. So I'm gonna say uh, first.webm and I'm gonna rename these to middle.webm and last.webm. So here's our three WebM files. And what I actually wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add oh, file to, in front of each one of these, oh, each one of these files. And this is actually a special file format that FFmpeg uses to actually splice multiple different videos together. So now we have our three files in this order. You can go ahead and save this. So now we have our um, file that just says file. It has the list of all of our all of our videos in it. What we do is I'm gonna run FFmpeg, and I'm gonna say dash F and concat. And what concat means is it's basically concatenate. If you ever use the cat command in Unix, that's what it means, concatenate. Uh, all the files together, which basically just means put all the files together in that in the order that I give them to you. And dash i for our file. And, um, and now our output is going to be, I'm going to call it splice.webm. And... You go ahead and run it, and it's going to go ahead and splice all three of these videos together. And so I'll cut back once it does that. Okay, so I'm back. I actually made a little error. Um, made a little error. I actually meant to call this mid. That way, then there we go. And so if I go ahead and rerun this, it should do it now. So I'm gonna cut back again. Okay, so it finally finished. So now we should have our splice that way, then file, and we go ahead and run it. You should see that it's around 30 seconds long. And we have the first 10 seconds of the video. And it cuts to the middle part of the video. And then it cuts again. And so now we spliced all three of those together. And so that's really the basics of using FFmpeg for editing, cu uh, cutting, splicing videos together, filtering videos, doing all that. Um, and that's really just the basics of it. There's a lot more. There's, <laughs> I, this, is, this is really just surface level. There's so much you can do with this. But yeah, that's um, FFmpeg. Video's over.